Well, this one kind of crept up on me, so I had to take a look, didn't I? Keep watching. Yes, it's got a ukulele review day. This is your summary video review to the full review that's linked below. Thanks again to those who've contributed. This is not a commercial website. I don't get paid by the brands to do these reviews. And why not consider the subscription thing as well? Okay, this brand, I put a sneak peek out on this on the Facebook page. And uh, understandably, I suppose people thought, well, he's gonna hate this one because the brand, it's a new one. Um, the brand is Epiphone. And the reason they say that, a bit unfair, is that some years ago I reviewed the Epiphone Les Paul ukulele and I didn't really like it and said so. And it went on to be possibly one of the most divisive reviews I've ever written. I still get comments about it saying, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're trying to destroy Epiphone. I love Epiphone as a brand. I've owned their guitars, I've owned several of their guitars. I just didn't like that ukulele. Did quite like their hummingbird though this one though quite different from those because both of those are kind of ukuleles which are based on guitars they're look, built to look like guitars this one launched at nam 2020 with no real fanfare i've not seen any press releases or anything about this one in fact i didn't even know it existed until about two weeks ago um this one though looks very traditionally like a ukulele a hawaiian style ukulele um, and that continues with the name, because this is called the Epiphone Epilani, uh, E-P-I-L-A-N-I. -I. Lani uh, in Hawaiian tongue means heavenly, I believe. So Epilani, and it's a soprano. And do you know what? I quite like the look of it. Um, it's, it is a very traditional double-bout soprano ukulele. One theme you'll get in this review is... Uh, Epiphone aren't particularly forthcoming with their specifications and I don't really know why because there's nothing they should have to hide so actually on their website they don't even tell you what this is made of um, they don't they don't tell you whether it's laminate or solid it's laminate and they don't tell you what the wood veneer is on the outside and I don't understand why it's mahogany um, because it's quite pretty shimmery mahogany less so on the plane very slightly arched back two pieces two pieces on the sides um, but the top I quite like that stripe in it uh, it's not offensive is it so why not say it's it's mahogany anyway moving on the bridge is a tie bar style it's made from that composite uh, laminate she very thin strips of wood sealed together into a shape and then stained that color um, they don't specify that but that's what it is because I've seen it before it's screwed in place uh, the saddle is dark gray and I immediately thought oh that must be tusk a proprietary material made by graph tech but they don't say that on the website either and if you're going to use a proprietary material like that you would say so so it could just be black plastic Body, decoration, nothing around the sound hole. You get this really attractive um, rope inlay, though, around the top. Very traditional. Very like Mainlands, brands like that. I really like that. And black edge binding to the top and the back. You know what? That's all finished then in a satin, which is a little bit on the artificial feeling, but there's no pooling. It's not overdone. There's no runs. It's, um, it's really tidy. Um, and it's tidy inside as well. Notch linings, thin braces, no mess, really. Uh, Epiphone name stamped on the neck uh, block. This is all really, really tidy. You know, I quite like that. Um, one thing that I just did seem a little bit odd, looks to me like the bridge is a little bit too low down, not in terms of it being out of place, just in terms of the design. Um, because I prefer them to be on the more resonant part of the instrument. Incidentally, the wood up top on this is really nice and thin. And it is resonant, but whether the bridge is on the res most resonant part is another matter. The neck, surprise, surprise, they don't specify what it is. It's a pale hardwood. The joint is obvious at the heel. The joint at the headstock is not. It could be Spiele, Akume, could be pearl mahogany. Don't know, don't know what it is. It's overly round Chinese profile, 34 mil at the nut. 28 g2a that's a bit too narrow for these hands um but very standard chinese soprano which of course is where it's made as it tells you there um yeah all right too narrow for me and too rounded frets you get 12 standard uh, to the body on a soprano 13 14 15 in total they are edge bound in black but sharp sharp fret ends that do you know what that's the first qc issue i've found with it everything else is built really well that's the first issue 
position dots face out at three, five, seven, nine, guitar brand, 12 double and one on the 15th, nor on the side. There's a gripe. Second gripe, you know, there we are, they're minor. Uh, but those sharp fret ends and that narrow nut width is not for me. The headstock is that typical Epiphone shape that they use on the Les Paul. I still think it looks a bit skinny, but I think it looks better not being stark and black. It's faced in mahogany, unfortunately. A bit of a flaw in it up here, um, where the veneer on the front is a bit thin. The Epiphone logo and motif are inlaid in pearl. I, yeah, that's all right. And being a soprano, yes, I would prefer friction pegs. It doesn't have friction pegs, but it does have these matte black... Um, gears and i think the black looks quite nice actually i think they look all right um it comes with nothing else a queen of strings no bag no accessories that's going to set it apart from some others at this price point and the price point is about 79 pounds or 79 dollars um so it's entry level uh it's about the price it's way below the price of the Les Paul is now because that's shot up in price ridiculously so um 79 quid they're clearly trying to get sort of new players on board and i understand them for that and i think that's what they should have done first off rather than that les paul monstrosity this is built all right um it's it's light it's nice and balanced at the 12th um it feels very well made it feels good in the hands it feels solid let's tune it up as i say that thin top does seem to be resonant but we'll see whether the bridge is not quite doing it justice the volume is not the best it's not bad um it's it's only sort of halfway uh, i'm not going to criticize it too much for its volume because it has volume but i do think that bridge isn't on the most resonant part of the top however the sustain is better. Sustain really surprised me, actually. Um, the tone, it's very boxy. It's, it's very obviously laminate, particularly when you strum it. Bit echoey. offensive it's not even bad um kind of like the carlos at the similar price um bit thin bit boxy bit echoey that's quite pretty You know what as i said earlier i think this is kind of the instrument they should have done um maybe then i wouldn't have had years of abuse in comments on youtube videos saying you hate epiphone because you know what i quite like this uh 79 quid it's gonna find itself with some stiff competition uh brands that either give you more or a price a little, little lower and you are paying for that name to some degree but you know what it is really well put together there are some QC issues at the sharp fret ends. I'd like some dots. Uh, the net width is not for me, but could be for you. The volume could be a bit better. Sustain's good though. Tone, a bit echoey and boxy, but not awful. Um, but you know, it's a really nice looking little thing, isn't it? Um, it looks like a really nice traditional ukulele. Why do they obsess on making ukuleles that look like bloody guitars? Um, there we are. Um, the Epiphone, Epi Lani Soprano, uh, $79 or pounds. Available now from Epiphone dealers. Not half bad, actually. 
back next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Stay very safe and um, indoors if you can. See you soon. Bye-bye.